In southern India, in particular, there's a textile mecca, essentially. It's a huge textile industry location. And in that area, rivers were becoming more and more polluted. Most of the textile-related garment units, dyeing factories, everything is located in and around 100 kilometers, around Tirupur. So the, the textile industry is, is an uh, industry segment that is notorious for water usage. A significant volume of water is used to wash the fabrics and then to dye the fabrics. Without water, nothing is there. Water is the main thing. We are also that next to textiles, uh, agriculture is the main business in southern. So we have to balance both the things. Earlier, the rivers were in color and uh, it was untreated effluent which was discharged. So uh, what we have done is we started treating the water. And now it is a total zero discharge unit. If zero liquid discharge was not implemented in India in these textile factories, uh, the water would become more and more polluted. It would not be usable by the municipalities for creating drinking water. It would not be usable for farmers to irrigate their fields. And if the farmers did use it to irrigate the fields, the fields would become um, salty and uh, the bananas wouldn't grow. Most of our customers, they're not in the business of cleaning water, right? They need to turn to the experts to help them understand how to do that. They need to work with us to help them manage the water piece so that they can keep running their business within the constraints uh, of their environment, which sometimes can be really tight, like they're in a vice, because the incoming water quality is getting worse and the outgoing discharges have to look better. And so this wastewater treatment ended up being a very significant portion of their bottom line of their factories and for them to make money. And so it was minimal liquid discharge that they uh, implement in addition to zero liquid discharge to lower that cost of the wastewater treatment process. I'd say the biggest shift has been the drive towards uh, wastewater reuse and that's been driving a large uh, chunk of our innovation and our portfolio. So taking technology that's been largely used to just remove salts, uh, like for seawater desalination or even like a brackish water which is a little less salty than seawater, taking the salts out of that, how do we take that technology and put it smack in the middle of a wastewater stream that has all kinds of different things in it that we don't even know what's in it. So minimal liquid discharge is a way to use um, membrane technology, pressure-driven uh, membrane uh, technology to separate the contaminants and the salts from the water and uh, generate purified water uh, in the system. That purified water can be reused in the, the textile mill process. And so the membrane technology and minimal liquid discharge, you just keep treating the water until the contaminants get to a, a maximum concentration level uh, to where then uh, thermal treatment and evaporation is the final processing step for uh, dewatering before you have the solids remaining in that zero liquid discharge process. The chemistry and the membrane chemistry around durability and making sure that these, um, these precious thin film composite membranes are robust and up to the challenge of these wastewater reuse systems is the, the other portion of that innovation that we're, we're bringing into the, the picture. So from this we are improving and as these improvements are happening we have such plans being erected and we are ready to reduce our cost. The investment is one aspect and herein we are reducing, our, we are trying to reduce our operational cost. Viewpoint also very supportive to us and we also giving uh, uh, some uh, basic inputs and uh, some quality inputs to them. So we are trying our best at being environmental friendly at what uh, best you can do with the cost aspect as well. The river which was coloured uh, two decades ago, now it is all fresh and clean and we are trying to keep our industry environment friendly and we are trying on every aspect of it to improve ourselves and that will be our promise to the nation or to the world.